right, we will go ahead and get started. So, hello everyone. Welcome to Shenandoah National Park Wildflower Weekend and our Youth Wildflower Art Contest Winners Ceremony. So, I am Margo Rosium. I'm an education technician here in Shenandoah and the coordinator of the Youth Art Contest this year. And uh, with me is our Deputy Superintendent of Shenandoah National Park, Raquel Montez. Hello everyone, um, thank you for coming today. Uh, I've, I've seen a lot of this art and it's beautiful. We have some very beautiful pictures to show you on display. Um, there's some great talent out there and thank you so much for coming out here and participating in our contest. So we're very excited to celebrate all of your art and all of your talent. Uh, we're thrilled to celebrate all of the over 110 applicants uh, that submitted their art online this year. So all of the submissions were phenomenal pieces that celebrated the fun of making art, the talent of the youth throughout Virginia, and the joy of being in Shenandoah National Park in the springtime. So we had four age categories that students could enter into. We had our kindergarten through second grade, third grade through fifth grade, sixth grade through eighth grade, and ninth grade through twelfth grade. So three winners were chosen from each category, and one of those winners was selected as the best in show. While some of our winners couldn't make it today, uh, and some of our entrants were unable to, we will be honoring all of our winners today and appreciating all of our youth entrants. Um, so for those that are here, your name will be called. We ask that you come up to join us so that you can show your art. I'll tell a little bit about your art, what judges really appreciated about your art, and you can receive your prize that Raquel will uh, give to you. So without further ado, we will start with our kindergarten through second grade category. First, we have Mia from Loudoun County. So if you'd like to come up, you can show off your art. So, Mia made a piece showing wildflowers in the sunset using acrylic paint. And wildflowers like these are found throughout the meadow and forest, often hanging low to the ground, emerging in the earlier warmer months. So hopefully you'll see them around the visitor center after the ceremony as you're exploring today. Uh, so judges were really drawn to the vibrant work that you can see in Mia's piece and the feel of being in nature with all the complexities that this piece gives. So one judge, one judge noted the combination of the graphic background and that it felt like a nature study. So you did a really great job, Mia. Thank you so much. So I will take your art. That then all of our art will be displayed in our visitor centers for the coming weeks. So that's for you. Thank you. It's beautiful. <laughs> all right. Our next two entrants from the kindergarten through second grade category were not able to make it today. However, we do have their art and would still like to honor them. So first, we have this piece by Odette from Montgomery County. So Odette used mixed media collage and paint to portray a common star chickweed. So this flower can last about a month in bloom and occurs mid to late spring. And it's named for its star-like shape with deep petals. Uh, and these may be little, but they are very beautiful. So the judges were really impressed by Odette's uh, accuracy and attention to detail, as well as the creativity that we saw throughout this piece. So. And our third winner from the kindergarten through second grade category is Sophia from Arlington, Virginia. So Sophia's piece uh, used watercolor and colored pencils to show Virginia bluebells. So these flowers can grow one to two feet in height and may be a bit more showy with their long trumpet-shaped petals that you can see that Sophia drew. Thank you. So judges loved the shading, the detail, the color, and the contrast in this piece. And the representation was very strong of the actual flower. So they were very impressed. All right. In our third grade through fifth grade category, First up, we have Lizzie from Shenandoah County. From Shenandoah County. Would you like to show your art, Lizzie? So Lizzie used watercolor to portray bluets for her piece. So bluets are a small perennial that may reach six inches in height. And while lower to the ground, they're striking with their pale blue or white petals and a vibrant yellow center that you can see in Lizzie's art here, as well as out in our meadow and forest this time of year. So the judges really loved your use of colors and proportions. 
Uh, and they said that your piece made them feel happy. And it felt like a late evening in the meadow before sunset. So thank you very much, Lizzie. I'll take your art. Beautiful. Next up is Emily from Warren County. So Emily, if you would like to show off your beautiful art. Emily highlighted the oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Emily highlighted the wild pink using watercolor, colored pencil, and acrylic paint. So the wild pink often grow in clusters and may look inviting, but they're sometimes also called sticky catch fly because there are sticky hairs on the flowers that deter ants from climbing in to steal nectar. So judges called this a happy drawing, noting the depth, the details, and variety that really showed a scene while making the flower itself stand out. So we really loved it. Congratulations. Thank you, Emily. All right, our next winner from the third through fifth grade category is Marin from Maidens, Virginia. Marin was not able to make it, but we can you I'm holding Marin's piece. Marin used pencil charcoal drawing techniques to create their lily. So lilies are fantastic for pollinators because they're large and often colorful. Although this piece depicts it in black and white, you can see that it may invite some uh, tasty feelings for insects. So some lilies have buds that can even be consumed by people. And the judges really loved the shading in this lily to create shape and form that makes it look representative of an actual lily that may be flowing in the wind in nature. So, congratulations, Mary. <laughs> All right, so we are now in our sixth grade through eighth grade category. First up from Albemarle County, we have Ruby Reed. So Ruby Reed, if you'd like to show off your artwork here. Uh, Ruby Reed made a spring red bud with colored pencil, alcohol marker, and acrylic paint pen. So the buds from these trees emerge right from the wood, and their large, bright appearance along highways and forests and along Skyline Drive stand out as a sure sign that spring is on the way. So judges really loved the texture of the branch and the accuracy of how the red bud flowers are coming straight out of the wood of its branches. So the use of color and detail really caught their eyes in this piece. So thank you so much. All right. Love your shirt. <laughs> Next up, we have Abigail from Hanover County. All right, so Abigail created wild geranium using oil-based colored pencils. And wild geranium have the rounded petals and a beautiful array of pink and purple colors. So you can find them growing one and a half to two feet tall from the forest floor, and you may notice their large stamen. So judges were really wowed by the open flower that you showed and the detail to the bud and the leaf, as well as the soft yellow background that really pulls you into the focal point of this beautiful flower. So you did a phenomenal job. You're welcome. I'll take your heart. All right. And we had Eliana from Shenandoah County. I'm not sure if Eliana was able to make it today. Okay, it looks like not. But we have Eliana's art here. Uh, so Eliana, thank you, used watercolor to portray this, uh, this very showy pinkster flower. So Pinkster azalea are decidu deciduous woody shrubs that love moist woodlands throughout Shenandoah National Park. Imagine having this pop of color throughout the forest in the spring. It really brings that to life. So judges were really impressed by the composition and delicacy of adding in stamens and pistil on each flower, adding detail and a feeling of really being there to see them up close, fragile, and swaying in the breeze. So congratulations to Eliana. All right, and then in our ninth through 12th grade category, first up we have Tristan from Fisherville, Virginia. All right, so Tristan used Gaussian pen to portray the common strawberry. Common strawberry has leaves with toothed edges and their white flowers are low to the ground, but keep your eyes peeled to come back for their small wild fruit later in the summer. The judges were really drawn in by your use of color, spacing, and arrangement in this piece. 
So they felt the fun that went into making this piece come alive and pop with a sense of realism, but they could also tell the hard work that went in as well. So thank you so much. And Kristalina from Shenandoah County, I don't believe was able to make it today. We do have their art here. So Kristalina created uh, flowering dogwood using watercolor and colored pencils. So this is the state tree of Virginia. The showy white spring flowers on widespread branches make it appealing to people and animals alike. Check it out for a second show of colors in the fall uh, because Shenandoah is really well renowned for its fall colors especially with pieces like our flowering dogwood. So judges really loved the botanical accuracy rendered in this piece. They felt the shine of the leaves and detail that gave a wonderful sense of realism to this flower, putting them in the space with it at the time. So thank you very much, Kristalina. All right, and our final winner from the ninth through 12th grade category is also our best in show for this year. So, Catherine from Luray, Virginia, congratulations if you would mind coming and showing us our best in show winning art. All right, so Catherine created the dwarf crested iris using colored pencil and watercolor. This showy, wrinkly looking flower is named for its crested ridges and shows off a beautiful purple blue violet. It's also endemic to the eastern United States. So this piece won best in show for judges, thanks to the botanical accuracy, the blending, the contrast, the vibrant color, the creativity, details, composition, and overall celebration of the crested dwarf iris that thrilled the judges. So it is a really great representation of a spectacular flower and a spectacular piece of art. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So uh, echoing what Raquel said, yes, thank you so much. Your art, your talent, your efforts, and your passion are really what make this contest so fun to put on every year. So congratulations on your accomplishments. You are all incredible artists. And we appreciate all of our over 110 applicants that submitted art and really showed us why we put this on, why we love springtime in Shenandoah. So thank you so much. We hope that you continue to make art. You can see these pieces displayed in the visitor center. Uh, throughout the month of May, as well as on our website later on. Um, and hopefully, you'll go out into the park, maybe join some of our wildflower walks this weekend, and be able to see some of these beautiful pieces in person. So thank you so much. We're here if you have any questions. Anything else you'd like to no, add? Thank you. And, um, thank you again for coming. Uh, please enjoy uh, the, this weekend's festivals. There's a, they put a lot of hard work into all the programming. So please enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations.